Well, good morning to you. I'm uh, I'm on the Simone Road, and I've come to the the Doi Resort. Uh, it's known by various names over the years, but uh, this is the Doi Resort, and it's got a little coffee shop set on the side of a of the hill. I won't call it a mountain because it's not that big yet. Uh, we're we're going out to Simone today. When people call um, the area of Samoon. A lot of people actually mean the Samoon Road, the Samoon Loop, uh, the journey around and back out of Samoon. Samoon is a, a, a like, like a district uh, of uh, Chiang Mai that is in the mountains and it's set between Pai and Me Jam and Me Hong Song and actually Chiang Mai. So it's up in the mountains and the road to it is always going to be windy, twisty because you're going around mountain bends. Thank you so much, Kop Makap. And you're going through a mountain area with uh, fast roads and it, at busy times you'll get lots of motorbikes traveling through here. Kop Makap, or oh, nag in. Uh, because it's a fast road, the motorbikes scream around the corners and you've got to be really quite careful. I used to be one of those motorbikes, motorcyclists. When I first came out here, I, uh, I, I picked up a, a Honda Wave 125 and I wanted to find out what was behind the, you know, the, as far as you could see, around your Moban, around your little town, around the city. I wanted to see a bit further. And I got on the Samoan Road that I'm travelling up to today and I just ventured off every little avenue up that Samoan Road. It was fantastic. It was a great adventure. And for anybody that's wanting to just get out of town and see, see rural Thailand, I can really recommend you just drive up the Samoan Road and take any turn left or right. You get lost in the mountains and finding the different ways of life up in the mountains is really, really interesting. There's some wonderful sights up here and this time of year you put on a few extra layers because it is cool and you know, you just get off out there and enjoy the sunshine, enjoy the forests, enjoy the, yeah, the habitat we are fortunate to live in. Now I'm gonna try this coffee. I've come to this coffee shop here today um, and it's a Doi Chang uh, chain. Uh, they serve Doi Chang coffee. get back in? Do they get back in? Look, 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 there, there we go, there we go. Go on, in, in, in.
กลมขาดลงน่ารักจริงๆน่ารักน้องชื่ออะไรครับไอจูไลจูจูไลอันจูสวัสดีครับครับ Joke about it, and the name is Sombadan, the, the the yellow pointy frond, the, the yellow petal trees, Sombadan, and I always remember it by thinking about two mad men called Dan. You might think me mad, but. Two is song, ba is mad, and Dan obviously a name. So song ba Dan. Let's take up this little mountain track up here. It's cement now. It used to be uh, mud, and when I first came up here on my Honda Wave, it was a lovely little trail up. You could. Fall off your bike easily and get stuck halfway up, thinking, "Oh my goodness, I'm not going to make it." But over the years, it's been properly paved. And honest, Gov, it does go somewhere. Well, you can see some damage of people hitting it there. And like many tr many trees, and like many roads that you. Take off of the main roads in Thailand. They are almost desolate for miles and kilometres. You drive through these little lanes and roads, and you think, "Oh my goodness, I've taken a wrong turning. I've gone somewhere that I'm never coming out of. I'm in the wilderness." And eventually, you come to the reason the road was laid. And this village on the top of this mountain. Obviously, was the reason this road was laid. And we're still going up. That's where we're going. Up the top there. Can assure you, driving this is absolute fun. It's wonderful. It's so so good to be seeing the blue sky and the greenery, feeling the wind blowing on the trees and on the, on the branches of the bananas there. Lovely. So up here you can see lots of polythene, and these are the poly tunnels that I've mentioned in the past, whereby you look at a mountain, you see square. Fields, almost of shiny polythene, popping my ears, and these shiny polythene fields are where the flowers are grown that we see in the markets. Uh, so, what a what market the other day you'd have seen those flowers, and this is where they come from. The places like this. There are some vegetables in those. View. I'm going to show you a view in a moment when I stop the car shortly. It's a fabulous view across here. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, at the moment, I'm on the Samung side of the route that goes around the uh, mountain of Doi Pui National Park, Doi Sutep, as you may know it. And I'm almost in, into Samung now. The valley that you can see, the wonderful, wonderful rolling mountains into the distance. 
This is not Monjam, a place recently that's been hitting the headlines where they've been populating the mountainside with white igloos and tents and uh, rows of chalets for people to come and stay in and turning it into mini resorts rather than it being agricultural land, forest land. And these developments on the other side of the mountain have now come into question and some of them are being ordered to be taken down. Well, I want to introduce you to a new one on this side. <laughs> this is a new resort going up here. And as you can see, up the top there are some little igloos. So is it, is it legal? Is it going to be allowed? Will they be allowed to keep it? Or will they have it ripped down in future because of the laws? And you can find such fantastic things here. Um, you, you don't know what's up there. You don't see a signpost saying these are all the details about where you're going to go to. But what you do see is the opportunity to turn left, turn right and just find it for yourself. And that's what you do a lot of here in Thailand. You just find it for yourself. If you expect somebody else to show it to you, you're not going to find something that's going to appeal to you, sure. Everybody's got their own tastes. This is my taste. I love it. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, I'm now at the very peak of this mountain and way over that horizon there is where Chiang Mai city is. And I'm up on the very top of uh, this fantastic place. You feel the wind howling through the trees and through this structure of a tower here. I'm going to take the uh, muffled microphone out and use the internal microphone of the phone. And they can hear this wind. Now that wind howling through this tower here and blowing against my back. That's winter here in Chiang Mai. It's something we start to get late in the year, this wind, this, uh, this cooler air. And it's fantastic when you feel it. You think, yes, the different temperatures are coming, the climate's changing. And to be up here on the top of this mountain and feeling this wind is really, really invigorating. It's gorgeous. Love it. Just look at the wind in those trees. Well, thank you for joining me on this very short journey out from my home up the uh, Samung Road. I didn't want to make a too detailed uh, journey or visit to Samung today. I really just wanted to make it a little episode of what to do on the Samung Road. What you can do if you just have a couple of hours and just get on a bike or in a car and just follow this little road out. A lot of people come to Chiang Mai and take a tuk-tuk around the city and take a tuk-tuk maybe out to an attraction that's uh, recommended to them by a label on the side of the Song Tao even. And they'll say, let's take you to this wonderful place. Well, if you just do it yourself and blindly go up that turning on the right or the left off that road and think, what's up here? You will find such a beautiful country. Get off the beaten path, get off the tourist trail. You'll really, really, really enjoy it, I, I promise you. Thanks for joining me on this one. See you in the next video. Take care now, bye-bye.